update on a standoff with a man who forced his way onto a school bus this morning. It happened near the intersection of Barnes and Cambridge. That's just north of Battlefield Road and east of Glenstone Avenue. Michael Hoffman joins us live with the latest update from that scene. Michael. Well, Lee, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can take a good look at the police situation just down the street from me now. Police have made entry into the home. They've had the house surrounded for hours. Around 8.30 this morning, police say the man barricaded in the home forced his way onto a Springfield Public Schools bus with 13 Pershing Middle School students on it. We caught up with one of those students about what happened and how they're doing now. I was scared. I thought like he had a gun and stuff like that. I was really scared. Springfield Public Schools says Wednesday morning an unknown man forced his way onto a school bus by prying open the doors. He took the keys. The bus driver stayed in the seat while a kid named David ran, went to the back, opened the, up the door, the back door and most of the kids evacuated. A neighbor living along the bus route captured the moment kids went running from the bus. Keeley says the man even tried to grab one of the students right in front of her. The guy tried to grab the kid. Like he was like, come here kid, I got, it's okay, I, I got something to show you. So I went over to the kid and I told the guy to back up and I grabbed the kid and we ran. In a statement, Springfield Public Schools said, the students were unharmed and either picked up by their parents or taken on to Pershing Middle School on a different bus. Springfield police say the school bus driver was not hurt either. Police surrounded the home where the suspect was believed to be holed up, trying to get him to come out peacefully. But for Keeley, she says all they could think about was getting somewhere safe as soon as possible. We basically just ran and then tried to find a place so that we could go in to get like help and call the cops and stuff like that. Okay. And he was just chasing us the whole time. SPS says student and faculty safety is its priority, and it did have counselors available for those who needed it earlier today. Now, the name of the man who's barricaded in the home just over my left shoulder has not yet been released. We also don't know the motive as to why he broke into that bus and tried to steal those keys. Right now, police are still trying to get him to come out of that house, and we're going to bring you the latest as we learn it right here on air and online. For KY3 News, I'm Michael Hoffman. Lee, back to you.